It's actually got a working phone looking at that. Got a working phone, there's no dial tone. Just don't take the new pound coins. Oh, something I didn't know about wearing. It had uh, fortified with walls around it. This is quite a tight, thin road, this one, but look at that. It leads down to this yeah. river. Is yeah, it a river? Good morning. We have just arrived at our first ever rally with the Camping and Caravanning Club. Uh, we're at the uh, Deer uh, Meetup, um, and Leah's just gone to find out what is going on because it's our first one. Um, and we're at the Birchwood Tourist Park in Wareham. Sorted, what do we have to do? Well, yeah, we're going to see the marshals that were on pitch 101. So we go in and all the way around there and then the marshals will tell us where to go and you pay them somewhere, I oh, believe. Right. Oh, okay. So 101. 101. Let's go find it. popular site, doesn't it? Yeah, seems like we're in a pocket of blue sky. That's good. Yeah, weather was quite bad as when we set off from home. It's quite nice here. Yeah, you just, your wheels just level with it now. Yeah. there miles away so you can come over a bit yeah don't put your front wheels on yet that's all right all right you're all right yeah And it's set up there. It looks all right, yeah. You just have a tiny bit more on that side than this side, but it looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come and have a look. All right, all right. I'll see if we're flat then. So we are on grass. Um, as long as it doesn't rain like torrential rain, we should be all right. Let's see if we're flat. Feels alright. Got a bit of tell now because you broke it. <laughs> yeah, it's flat enough. Right, we're all set up now. We were told originally when Lee phoned up that it'd be like gravel, sort of like concrete gravel stuff that we were parking on. Um, but yeah, we didn't, it's been open since yesterday, this rally. Um, so we're just coming today, which is Friday, so maybe we didn't get one of them pitches, so we're on the grass, which is fine. Um, it is still quite wet. You could yes. hear it squelching when you uh, <laughs> when you reversed on it. But we made the mistake of forgetting the water originally. Yeah. So we had to come back off the grass, which has left a few uh, muddy trails, hasn't it? It has, yeah. But I'm sure we'll get off again. If not, they have got a tractor. Yeah, they said that they have got tractors which they've been um, putting the seasonal caravans in the places with today. Um, but they're quite happy to help you. They'd rather help you than you get stuck in it and make more of a mess. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to play it by ear depending on the weather. Um, we may go for a walk if it's nice. We may take it into Wareham. Not sure which one of them yet. And if the weather's rubbish, then we're looking at going somewhere indoors, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. So we're going to leave it here for today because we're going to have a wander around and get our bearings and then pick up the camera again tomorrow and take you with us. Yeah, which I think is going to be a dry day. So that's good. And we will see you then. But you never know, dear. You? you can no. always change these weather no. apps. Never tell the truth. No, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll uh, catch you in the morning. Morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? 
so it's a bit brighter today which is good. Yeah it's supposed to be no rain for the rest of the day so we should be able to get out into Wareham. That's what, we're plan that's what we're planning on doing. Yeah. Um, we were going to look at maybe taking the van out somewhere but we can't because it's so because of the rain last night it's so yeah. boggy on the grass mm. so we'll just leave it where it is till it dries out a bit basically don't want to keep moving yeah it. yeah and we were going to look at walking in um but it looks a bit complicated because there's lots of cycle tracks there's like um a proper cycle track down the road mm. um, that you can use which is really good um and there's a pub just down the road as well but I'm not sure on the walking paths, if no. the road has got paths or whatever. So because we're only here for a couple of days, we're going to get a taxi into Wareham, aren't we? Yes, so taxi into yeah. Wareham and have a little look around there. Yeah. yeah. But before we do that, mm. we've been sent something, haven't we? We have. People always say we need some different footwear or new footwear. Yeah. Um, so we have been sent some stuff, um, some actually footwear from Fitfield. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just basically try out, you know, and see what we think of it. So, but what we happened was we were sent some and because it's US sizes, um, I think somewhere in the translation we ended up with two bigger sizes didn't we we did yeah so the the first pair they sent us the sizes were one size too big for us both yeah. so because of that so we have got actually two pairs of fit fills to give away yeah um so we'll show you what they look like um i will tell you a little bit about them uh and we'll try them out so my ones they come in a nice nice box which is good liberate your toes it says on the box but for your ones, they came in just this sort of packaging. Didn't yeah, they? they did. They just came in a in a bag like this. So yeah. these are these are really cool. They're like I like my dark black trainers. I don't, mm. you know, for for walking in and things like that. I, you know, it's different for different styles and fashions. But for walking in, I really like the dark trainers. Um, they've got quite um a good grip on the bottom. They are a wide fit because Fitville um are known for helping you with foot health. Um, yeah. and they always have wide trainers for people with wider feet. My feet are slightly wider, um, they do fit better in wider shoes, um, uh, but trainers have always been okay, but generally shoes, mm. um, I would go wider. But with my ones, they're the all-terrain trainers. You ordered the blue originally though, did you? No, so the, you the these are minute. the blue, but yeah. these are the ones that fit me, so these are the ones I'll be trying out. Just be careful when you when you get in the sizes that you don't go up too big. Yeah, and like I say, because they do come out a bit wide as well. Um, yeah, so that's us. We, we'll try them on. We're and, going to um, try them on, then I'll tell you how you can uh, win a pair of these. These yeah. are a seven, and my toe is just there, and they are quite a wide fit. There's a little bit of... I can feel a little bit of space each side, but that feels quite comfortable, actually. So my toe is there, so this is probably just a... When I normally get the sevens, I would say they're just a little bit further down. Normally I would have them about here. Um, but there's lots of room and they're, they're comfortable around the ankle. Very good fit around there, really comfortable. And they feel, they feel really good. Yeah, feel really good to walk in. There we go, that's my ones and like I say, they're um, not the colour I would choose. They're not the colour I would choose, but um, comfy wise they, they feel quite comfortable. Um, would we recommend them? Well, that's time will tell on that. Um, we've got to try them out first, but um, let's show you the ones that you could uh, you can get. Um, it's just a giveaway, really, but there is some sizes and stuff like that. So we'll go through that now. Right. So these are the ones that we're giving away. So if you just hold them, Lee. Yes. Tell us a little bit about them ones. So these are the All Terrain um, Fitfield trainers. Okay. So these are a size ten UK. Um, they're wide fitting. Now, this is one of the ones obviously that we're giving away. So, if you do like these trainers and you want to give them a go yourself, size 10, that's the colour, which I think is a lot, lot better than the blue, um, and the wide fit. Um, so, that's the first pair of trainers. Right, so the second pair, so that's the male pair of trainers. This is the female pair of trainers, fit feel. Again, these are all terrain if I'm right, is that correct? Um, yeah, I believe so, I can't remember. It would say on the, um, I don't know, I can't remember. Right, well these well, are... Well they are for walking, definitely for walking in. Yeah, it's got comfort technology, arch and heel support. Um, 
and stuff like that. So they are quite a sturdy pair of trainers and obviously Jody's wearing the ones that fit her now, but these are a seven and a half <laughs> UK size yeah. in black. Now, for those, anyone out there that wants the male pair or the female pair, you know, just put in the comments if you're interested. So if you're interested in, just put, I'm interested in the, uh, the male pair of trainers or I'm interested in the female pair of trainers or you're interested in both. So just to clarify, the males are a size 10 UK. Size 10 UK. And they're a seven and a half they're female a for a UK. Half. So like I say, if you'd like them, please put it in the comments what pair you would like. If it's both pairs, okay, and then we'll do a random generator for both pairs of shoes and whoever um, comes up, we will contact you. Or you'll contact us via email, uh, and then we we go from there and get them posted out. So in there'll in be the a, a discount um, link in the description. Plus there'll be a discount code, which is F uh, um, LFT. Last for touring, so LFT twenty eight. It will all be in the description, and that'll give you twenty eight percent off uh, all shoes and trainers over their their site following that link. So I've started a new challenge. I'm doing a hundred skips with a skipping rope every day uh, for the whole of March. Uh, this is to raise money for cancer research. I'm not going to go into much into the reasons why, um, because everybody or most people have a story related in some way um, where they would like money being raised for cancer research to help support what they do and fight the different types of cancer. So. Um, we're doing this for personal reasons as well, um, but I'm hoping to raise, I've put £150 target on my uh, giving page which is in the link to this description as well. So if you want to donate please feel free just go in and donate on there, that would be really helpful and useful. If not I'm just going to make up the 150 anyway. Um, but what I'm going to do is 100 skips every day. The skipping rope that Cancer Research sent me. Uh, I'm on a Facebook group as well and there's lots of people doing it. Actually it's mainly women <laughs> that are doing it and there's a couple of men on there. Um, but we're all doing this every single day. Not all of us can do 100 straight off, but we do the best that we can. Um, I intend to get to 100 in one go and then I will improve it as, as we go through. So this is my second day, um, I'm gonna share it with you. And this is the 100 skip challenge for cancer research. Go. <laughs> About 60, wasn't it? 58. 58. Yeah. <laughs> 77. Ah. Oh. Uh, 87. 87. I think I can't remember. Oh, we're 77 now. <laughs> you can't remember it's 77. Go. Done. You out of breath? Yeah. <laughs> Good effort. You've got to do that every day for March now, haven't you? Yeah, these are great to put in your uh, van because they're lightweight. True. Good CV. Yeah. If you can do, if you can do them. I'll leave that one up to Jody um, then. Mobility-wise, if you can do them, they're a great idea. If you can't go out walking or running. Yeah. Right. We're going to get ready then and yeah. get down to wear them. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. So before we get on this taxi then into Wareham, um, we've got half hour to wait for the taxi to arrive. So we thought we'd give you a little tour around this park just so you can see what um, Birchwood Touring Park is like. So yeah, this is still all the DA part and uh, just over there in front of us, a couple putting the chairs out there, the ones that are hosting this weekend. And in there is the wooded area. Um, but yeah, you can go into there and as you walk round, through that area, you can go all the way around there's some big up nose. I think it comes all the way back round on itself, um, which is a nice walk. Through there you get some pitches within the trees in the tree line, which is quite uh, quite nice. 
A bit of greenery around here, some bits we think is for camping and some... Mind you, there must be camping, they've got electric points. That's the storage area over there. People that own seasonals, their vans go in there, I think, because we did see... Mm. We did see some vans being pulled with tractors and put onto their yeah, pitches, one, didn't we? Yeah, one their season yeah. Must, might be from the 1st of March, so they were yeah. getting pulled out yesterday. But um, they've got two taller blocks of what we can see. Um, and yeah, they're quite standard. You've got your Elson Point, you've got your dishwashing area, you've got your um, male and female toilets. Uh, in this one, in the block on the other side, then you have got laundry as well. It's probably a lot of seasonals here, but yeah, there's still enough touring pitches open, I think for just to you know come along and, and stay here um, and you've got this here as well so this is the motorhome waste drop area so obviously all your grey waste I do like it when they do the rollover ones because it just makes life so much easier and what a lovely day today we can actually show you this in the sunshine yeah yesterday was torrential rain, rain till about four in the morning yeah. <laughs> Dotting around as well, you've got these um, all the bins, all that facilities. Within there, you've got the um, wastewater and um, um, fresh water, drinking water. Here you've got your games room. I'm assuming you can get the get it unlocked, but you've got a pool table and a foosball table in there. It's quite small, but it's something. This is the reception parking area where you come in. And that's the arrivals box just there in front of the reception where you park up when you come in. This old colour here. Uh, and this is the reception area. They have got a little shop in there as well, haven't they? Sell about quite a few things. Yeah, just that's normal, yeah, like normal you, yeah. stuff. So I'm not going to show you that because it's the same as every other time we show you a camping shop on a site. Yeah, a few camping um, accessories and a few bits and bobs. Essential you... food bits and stuff, yeah. yeah. But it's really good and really handy. They seem to have all the right things in there. There's lots to do if you've got a, the means to just drive out a little yeah. bit further. Yeah, there's the Tank Museum, Bovington Tank Museum there's down the road. There's Monkey, Monkey World, World down yeah. the road. So there is yeah. things that ain't too far if you've got a vehicle to get there. Well, this is a rarity, isn't it? Something. Usually these big red foam boxes... Not that it looks, it looks old. Um, is it heavy door, is it? <laughs> Usually they're full of books these days, but look at that. It's actually got a working phone looking at that. Just don't take the new pan coins. It's not got no dial tone though. That's a bit retro, isn't it? Yeah, but it's got no dial tone, so maybe you have to put money in for it to have a dial tone. Well, got one. there you go. You've even got your big red phone boxes outside this camp. So this is Sunny Wareham, as I've been told. Yeah. I don't know what that happened to the the Red Lion Hotel. No, no. Ed Lion Tell now. That's a museum here. Did you know that? That's the uh, Wera Museum. Closed to Easter, looking at it. Yep. Free admission though, look at that, that I like that. Yeah. That's that quite likes good. free admission. Ancient Parish Church of St Peter. Big bell tower on top of it. The Duke of Wellington pub. It's quite nice though. Food, ales and bed and breakfast. I was going to ring barbecue, say barbecue then, I don't know why. <laughs> Not yet, it's too cold for that. <laughs> right, so we're just going to head up here back to Shafford Lights where we, just where we got out of the taxi and uh, walk up around and see if we can find somewhere to have some lunch. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, skate shop there, look. Wow, I've been on rollerblades for ages. It's quite cool. <laughs> the Rex Cinema over there. Things have got a lot of um, like local butchers and stuff like that. Supporting so, local businesses. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice to see. Mm, it is nice to see. Fish and chips. Look at that. It's closed two at the time, moment. Two times small fish. One, one last chips, chips 11, 11 quid. Yeah, that can split between you then, you see. That's not bad, is it? Got a laundrette as well, so if you need a laundrette while you're out and you're travelling, apparently it is difficult to get your motorhome down here, but there is parking up in the council car park. Yeah, yeah they've got a laundrette, self-service. Look at that, leads all the way down that road, down to that church. So we're off to find the Wareham Walls, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> 
Oh, this is where you can park your event. Oh, uh, okay. So up here, that yeah. long stay parking, where it's got the coach sign, you can put your motorhome in there. Just for the so day, it's only, I believe. Yeah, so it's, it's only a little walk away then to the laundrette if you need it, if you're just passing this area. Um, and there is a van in there now. So it looks like you can park in there if there's space. Looks like the Wear and Walls walk, point one. Welcome to Wear and Walls. Yeah, and this is the West Walls. So looking at the map then, these walls, pretty much these mounds that go along here, they probably go, they do, they go all the way round, round Wareham. And there's the river that I was talking about. That oh, all right, so okay, there's so... A, there's a pub down there that we okay, went to. Okay, so the river. So you've got the walls going all the way round yeah. Wareham. And it says Wareham is famous for its uh, monumental Saxon earth walls. Excellent. Basically constructed on three sides of the town to defend against Viking invaders. Vikings? It, it says you can follow the walk, read the boards and find out about the town's colourful past and appreciate its amazing natural history. That's good. Ooh, so yeah, so, oh, something I didn't know about Wareham. It had uh, fortified with walls around it. Yeah. That's good. So we're seeing the walls now. Yeah, I, think I think we should head down to the water. Maybe. Yeah, because it says uh, there's a sign over that way that says head down to the quay. So yeah. I'm assuming that's where the, the waterway is. Um, is it a river? It's a river, I think, isn't yeah, it? Sort of. So we'll have a look. we head off down that road down there. I love it, don't you? When you find these sort of roads, there's no footpath really. It's just just the road, cottages either side. You see the church just through there. In between them houses. Lovely street to walk down. And that looks like the old brewery. It's private property now. It is private property now, probably flats now. This is quite a tight thin road this one, but look at that, it leads down to this yeah. river. You is it a river? Me, um, I don't know, but you wouldn't bring him up run down that road, would you? No. <laughs> the old grain style. Wow. Look at that, and we're obviously bringing all the grain down on the, the barges or something. Like You've even canal, got a bridge over there. It's like a canal, isn't it? It looks like it, yeah. Yeah. There's a boat coming through underneath there. You ain't going to fit under there. There's some boats down there as well. It's lovely. Little dinghies. It looks like they've got numbers, so you can, you can hire out the boats. Go for a little uh, paddle. Good enough, folks. <laughs> I don't like you. Well, it was nothing to do with me. <laughs> Little rowing boats there and all. Looks like the little market down there. Next to the quay, the old granary. Do you think they'd appreciate our sticker I've been putting there? <laughs> Probably not, that's council stickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to sit on that bench there, would you? A bit flooded. <laughs> yeah. So, but it looks like a little nature reserve in there. Yeah, you could probably walk round. Priory Meadow. Priory Meadow. We've got this board here. There's a bit too much really to, to read through, but it shows you the change from 99 AD all the way to 1927. Yeah. But it looks like a lot of... Yeah, we we're going for Viking times here. You have businesses grew, um, but there would have been lots of change. Um, yeah, and it goes up to this. today where it says the keys, towpath, and river are used and enjoyed by all. Whereas obviously it's been for all these transformations. Yeah. We'll show you that. We'll show you a bit better, but I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up because the writing is slightly raised off and it's not um, as easy to read. See a lot of boats this year, haven't we, love? To be honest, I thought where um, we were just going to go into this small town and that was it. I didn't realise it had all this and it's quite nice. I like seeing all this sort of stuff. So we're going to go hunting for some food now. Well, we don't have to go hunting as such. <laughs> bit dramatic. <laughs> well, you go um, hunting I'm going to find a place that's prepared it already. Like a pub, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't have a drink last night, so... Uh... No, we're all fresh today. <laughs> Proper fresh. It's nice. So we're going to see if we can... Get in this pub here. I think the Riverside pub looks quite nice. Oh, there's an Italian if you wanted some pasta or something or a mm. pizza. 
Um, uh, so we're going to have a look, have a look around that side because it looks like there's some walking areas around there as well. It does actually. Yeah. yeah see what's there and then get something to eat. Although this walk ain't as hard as last week when we done that vlog up in the uh, up at Harlands End, is it? No, Ooh. and if you haven't it's seen... It's nice and flat here. Yeah, but if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch last week's video, you'll know what he's talking about. Yeah, that's a walk and a half. We've done some walks, that's for sure. Size of them onions. We wanted an onion, didn't we? We might grab one, actually. That's a lovely uh, church, Lady St Mary Church. Let's go and take a look inside. There might be something going on there, something like that. Must be Lady St Mary herself. I believe you can ring the bell. Not that I'm going to ring the bell, but... Uh... It looks like that's a bit of rope to do that. It's a lovely little place though. Oh, Bear Hotel with a big bear on it. I'm sure we've seen that before. Where was that? Devises. It was not a bear like that, was it? It was a panther. So it was a bear, but I looked at yeah. like a panther. Yeah, that's right. So that's us. We've just been to um, Sainsbury's and got some bits for tonight's meal that nice. I'm cooking. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to go get a taxi now and we'll see you back at the van. Well, it's our last day here now. We've finally packed up from this site. The sun has decided to really pop its head out and shine today. Typical um, when we're leaving. <laughs> it is very typical. Um, but it just shows actually spring is definitely coming when you get the weather like this. This jumper's too hot. <laughs> it's warm now, yeah. which is good. I'm not complaining about that. But um, I some air. <laughs> it's getting a bit warm. So hopefully um, you've enjoyed our little vlog today um, over this weekend. So um, yeah, that's about it. What's your thoughts on the site? It's a nice site. I really like it. We got it for a good price because we joined a, a local DA. Um, with a camping mm. and caravan in the club, so that was good. Um, there's not so, like I said, there's not much directly around here in this kind of weather. If it's drier weather, there's more walks you can do and things like that, which we would have liked to have done. Uh, but if you want to go further out, even to Wareham, it's three miles, so you've got to get some kind of transport if the ground's bad and you can't walk it, because um, you can walk in there uh, through like the forest route, I believe. So stay tuned for our next one where we're going to be at. We're looking at going to Ledbury Um, find a nice site around that area. Yeah, well, there you go. Ledbury it is, uh, as I forgot. But um, until then, we'll see you on the next one. For now, bye. See ya. Spring weather. Come on, sunshine. Spring is here. Keep it up. <laughs>